Hi, this is Natalie Rigby and welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going for my MRI brain function test for language. So I will get back and I'll let you know how it all went. I'll do a little bit in the car approaching and a bit when I'm in there, but obviously my phones will have to be away for the actual MRI, so I won't be able to film that bit um, with this test but I'll be able to tell you a lot a bit more about it after. So, so far they phoned me and says don't wear any earrings, any metal, if you've got any metal anywhere in your body, which is no. Um, yeah, come with no jewellery on and wear something baggy. So I'm just wearing, as you can see, just a black all-in-one play suit, um, no metal on it at all and uh, yeah, just comfortable. And then obviously I'll go in and see what else I've got to have done and I'll speak to you soon about it so look out for the next scene coming up soon hi we're nearly there now I'm getting a few butterflies obviously because I don't know what to expect but I'm just going to do a quick video of where you go to the imaging centre when you get into Queen Elizabeth grounds because it is hard to find if you haven't done it um, yet Luckily we know where to go, so I'll I'll do that now and then I'll go back on video when I'm there. Right, I'm at the ITM Imaging Centre now, so here we go. I'm back wow now that was a different experience than I'd had before and it's very interesting so I'll quickly walk you through the MRI brain functioning tests for language so I went there give my name got a form answered the questionnaire out um, like have you got any metal in your body have you got any piercings have you had any surgery lately things like that um, things like if you've got a pacemaker is an example of metal in your body um, then you feel like that give it back go to the locker room which I showed you earlier any belongings you've got you put in the locker then you take the key with you so you know your belongings are safe so then you enter the scan room the scanner MRI scanner looks like this there it is there so you lie on that table and it, it backs you up into the tube that's around you but before you go into the tube they give you some ear plugs some ear phones so they can talk to you as well through that and a little emergency buzzer thing so don't worry if you are scared or claustrophobic while you're in there um, then you can use this buzzer and you're a bit like celebrity to get me out of here you're like get me out of here but don't worry I'm going to give you tips on how to keep calm in MRIs in another video so you've got your earplugs in, earphones on, then another thing comes over and it's like got two little windows, it's like a helmet with like two little windows that you can see through um, and that keeps everything compact on your head. Then you put your head down into something that keeps your head in place and you lie down and you get backed into the pole. Now the difference between a normal MRI scan and a brain functioning MRI scan for language is you've got a mirror strapped to your helmet that you've got on. So when I look up through the little windows, there's a mirror there. And behind me at the end of the pole, there is a flat screen TV where words will come up on. So I'm lying up and I can see in the mirror the screen behind me because the screen is projecting the words reflecting through the mirror into myself so I can see the TV in my mirror so you, you get asked um, to do three different tasks and I'll walk you through them now the first one and I'll give you a little example on my whiteboard I've been using it for my daughter's homeschooling but I'm using it for this because it's small anyway 
So the first task is add the first word that comes to your mind to the sentence shown. So you lie there and for example a sentence like this will come out and it says when the clouds are clear the sky is right so I obviously thought blue you don't say it out loud you think it in your head because they are scanning the thought process and where your brain picks up your language skills in your brain so that was the first one when the clouds clear the sky is and then in my mind I said blue and then another one comes up and it says a lion has sharp and then there's nothing you have to add your own word obviously I said teeth and so on and so on for quite a few sentences and in between them different sentences you get hashtags lots of hashtags come up so in my head I was going hashtag 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 and then another sentence will come on so you do that for a little bit and then the next one is a big letter will come on the screen and when that letter comes up you have to say as many words that begin with this letter for example say if Natalie come up oh sorry say if night come up then I would think in my brain Natalie uh, I'm getting all confused oh, sorry say if the letter N come up then I'd say Natalie, night, anything beginning with the letter N um, in my head. I'm getting a bit muddled because I've just been through a lot, so I apologise. So, yeah, a bunch of letters comes up. You have to say as many different um, words that begin with that letter. And then you have a break for a little bit and then this screen comes up and it's just a picture of a woman running in, running in water. So you just have a break. So then it shows on the scan that your brain's resting before it starts again. And now the next one's pretty interesting. But remember, it doesn't... I'm just wiping my whiteboard now. It, you don't have to get the answer right. It's the thought process and then calculating the thought process in the MRI scan and seeing the way you think and where to pick it up that counts. As long as you can see your thought process, it doesn't matter if you get the answer right or wrong. But say, they give you a trigger in both hands and they're sort of like the ones you get with the Wii, not the remote, the actual, the, the other one that you press. So it's like a little trigger in both hands. So you've got left and you've got right. So an example would be, say if bird came up at the top of the telly, then you've got a choice of what you want to pick with your triggers. So when bird comes up, there would be fly and swim you've got to pick the right word to associate with the word so obviously bird comes up I'm going to click fly because we know birds don't swim and like things like that so a word comes up and then you have to click right or left to see what best um, matches that word so that's it all really you do quite a few of them and then the scan's over it took me about 45 minutes because before you even have any of the language um sentences come up you have to just lie there and be scanned for 20 minutes but yeah she said it won really smoothly and i'm just hoping that where i do use the language in my brain um because there's a lot of places in your brain you don't even use but if there is a part of my language around this region then I hope it isn't over the scar because say if there's 70% of the scar that doesn't use language but then there's 30% of the scar that does use language they'd have to leave that 30% out because if they go poking around and they you know they can't just go poking around because they'll you know you have to be careful where your, your speech is I don't want to be left speechless for the rest of my life so so that's it. Yeah, I'll go into more about what um, MRI scans, brain function scans are in the future. But that's pretty much it. So it doesn't matter again if you get the questions right or wrong. It's just there recording the way your brain processes thought and language. So I hope you know what to expect in the future now when you go to one of these. It's really easy. The most daunting bit is about being in the 
the pole um, thing if you're quite claustrophobic or with a mask on because it's COVID as well um, it's pretty hard because um, you get quite hot and it's even more claustrophobic but hopefully you won't have to go through that but just keep having deep breaths and just realise it will be over before you know it so I hope this has been knowledgeable sorry if I've gone on a bit but it all needed to be said so um, fingers crossed with the results and I should know in a week or if they said if I haven't heard in three to phone back so I will do that because it's not um, unusual for it to take longer in Covid so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for my next video bye P.S. Sorry, I'm back. Um, my brain's a little scatty. I forgot to say that, yeah, at the beginning of the video, I said I did a little video of the way you go when you get into the Queen Elizabeth grounds because it's not in the hospital. It's on the hospital site. So I will put that individually on another video because people might not want to watch all of the um, video. They might just want to see where you have to go. So I'll put that on another video for you and remember if you want to see my journey to brain surgery and the rest of my little educational videos or vlogs please uh, subscribe and if you like it please let me know in the comments below because all your feedbacks really appreciated and if you like it and you want to be notified about any videos I do in the future click the little bell you should see it somewhere so yeah I'll see you soon for my next video